Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support that you're giving each other as well as yourselves. Healing, forgiving, and loving is such a beautiful thing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. The many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video and if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just have to tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction and as well as if you feel a video is just giving you good feeling or good vibe or just good information that you know you feel like somebody needs at that time, please go ahead and share. While you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and share on your social media favorites as well. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my meditation is so beautiful. It's called uh, Meditation Music to Bring Positive Changes. Twin Flame Meditation Manifest your, your True Love. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Um, twin Flames merging the most uh, merging in the most powerful way. We are. It's like we are already already, and I hate saying merging because we're already in one the same way. You know, you are to your twin as your twin is to you. But it's like so much of us is going through so many changes, and especially if you, you know, if you're a Hayoka or just regular empath or an indigo or INFJ, and you know, you're finding out that you have a twin. And you know, some people are like, Well, I don't know who my twin is. There's a lot of people who don't know. And I don't know if everybody has a twin flame, but you know, it would be nice if everybody could. But it's, if you know you have been going through life and you felt like there's a part of you is missing and you've been trying to search this whole world for it, you know, there's a part of you is missing it just is something is just isn't right that you feel like there's something out there that you have not discovered but yet it feels so familiar to you that's when you know that you have a twin flame out there you just it just comes to you when it needs to and it's like right now with all of us being activated some of our twin flames are popping up out of the blue you know I would mind I have because I always try to tell people we have more than one twin flame we have like twin souls Kendrick souls soulmates and we have our ultimate ultimate twin flame you know we have to go through all those different things just to be able to get to that ultimate twin flame well with mine my my father had passed on so his like his spirit is like it's so different because it's so rare because a lot of people didn't know you know they try to say in textbook terms you know you can't be related but with me and my father it's like so rare even though you never know it could be different other people it's like that but I haven't heard of it but it was like we all went through that me and him have went through that characteristic you know uh, the closer our essence get towards each other it's like more memories I start having from our different lives which is so beautiful and there's sometimes I mean y'all it, it took me about five or ten minutes just to get started on this video because I felt so much love coming in it got me emotional and I'm just up here boohooing and crying because it felt so beautiful and I'm just like oh my gosh you know I'm sending love to him as much as he's sending love to me you know because it's just like it's already hard because of him passing so that's a, you know I'm going through grief as well is that that longness even though we are as one you know missing that physical presence is you know it's really hard and I'm trying not to cry <laughs> because it's like so emotional and you know I'm still going through that grieving process even though it's been almost three years um it's like two more months it'll be three years so you know it's like coming up to that point I get very sentimental or very you know sensitive and I've been really sensitive anyway lately and it's just been annoying as I don't know what but it's just like knowing that your your twin is always there for you and you're always there for your twin flame you know my father it just seems like anytime I feel sad he always comes you know comes to try to give me love and I tell him you know what I, I appreciate that but it's just something I have to heal on my own because I don't want him feeling like anytime I'm starting to get upset he always has to come save me and he's always been that way so it's just like I don't want to be take 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 and I'm not giving anything in return you don't do that it has to be a 50 50 thing and I don't want him to ever feel 
that I'm doing that. So it's just like right now with us all coming into something because it's like a lot of us are, no, you know, we have that feeling like something bigger than we can even explain. We can't put our finger on it. But there are stages of our lives that are starting to feel like it's coming into a new chapter or things are, you know, things that we went through with so much trauma and so much despair is coming towards an end. So it's like the more you're merging, the more love you feel, the more, you know, grateful you feel. I tell, like, I say five or six things in the morning that I'm so grateful for. You know, when you show gratitude to the universe, more blessings you can come through. There's times I get really depressed and I miss my father. You know, seeing other people with their dads and stuff like that, or just seeing, like, different commercials with, you know, family, I burst out in tears. Because it's just like, wow, you know, I'm really going through this, but I know my father's always here. So it's just like when you're going through this with your twin flame, you know when you feel that love that just makes you want to break down and cry or it's just something that you feel like they're wrapping their arms around you, even if you haven't went through that physical union yet you feel that love right there and it's just so beautiful and it's just hard to explain you know anything that comes up with the twin flame is hard to explain if somebody asks you what is twin flame you know and it's easy to explain but but it, it's kind of complex at the same time. So it's just, you know, it's like a double stick. It's like a double-edged sword. So it's just like it's easy to talk about, but then it's not because sometimes the connection can be so wonderful. It can it can get you emotional because that's a, a blessing to be able to have something like that. It's something that's so sacred that, you know, you want to keep it all to yourself. But, you know, you want to be able to show the world, is at, you know, at the same time too as well. But it's like certain things that we can't really talk about, you know, because it will mess up the vibration of that connection. So it's just like going through these different things. I have so many memories of things that I should not even remember. It's just so wonderful how, you know, when I remember my father is just as a child when he was little and we used to play these like cops and robbers or you know my dad had this favorite little like fire truck and I see him like running against the little little car and be playing with the little things and I break down in tears I'm like oh my god how do I how am I able to remember stuff like that but I know the closer you know his spirit essence comes to mind I will start remembering stuff like that and just being more grateful that I'm healing because I was such like what he what, what is it uh rough around the edges <laughs> I was very rough around the edges but I know I'm a work in progress because there's a lot of things that I really cut out my life that he felt was very unhealthy for me and it was just not I wasn't just doing this for him but I was doing it for me as well I was doing it for me but I was doing it for our relationship as well you know um stop smoking weed stop drinking uh, I don't have no need or urge for it you know before like when weekends come up I used to dread it because I'm like oh my gosh it's so boring you know because I'm so used to having a blunt or having a cigarette while I'm stressed out or you know having a glass of wine or something during the weekend and it's just like you know I have no need for these things anymore I, I exercise I run I'd go on nature walks because before I was such an introvert I wouldn't dare go out the house unless I had to so it's like I'm being more open with myself not not putting limitations on myself so it's just like when you're you and your twin emerging it, it makes you more get out your comfort zone and want to do things that you know makes your life happy you know have have to have your twin there for your life to be happy you have to be able to do that on your own because it's like the more things that you know your your twin is emerging to you or marrying to you the things that you need to change about yourself or there's things that you need to enhance about yourself or you know be a little bit more happier so you can really get that closeness and connection and when you know that bigger and beautiful things are in store you just don't know what it is you know there's some kind of connection with your twin flame that you're going through in that powerful way that you know gives you that essence that essence of love like it's just wrapping you wrapping you like and swaddling you like you're a little baby like you know when babies get swaddled right when they were born it feels like that and it's just very 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 beautiful so if you're going through these things, knowing that you and your twin flame are going to be coming closer and closer to a much positive, more powerful way. If you already are in that union, you know, things are coming in for you, you know, for universe to be able to make sure this is, is solid, you know, is helping you be able to help your relationships, kind of like a marriage. 
So, you know, you're going through things like this, knowing, you know, the universe is really looking out for you and they're blessing your union. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. Much love to you. I hope everybody has a blessed day weekend. I'm getting my post notification shot out to Gabriel and Buse Metula. I hope I pronounced it this time right because I know you're from you're Turkish, so I'm trying to make sure I pronounced it right. And much love to y'all. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you probably possibly can. Or like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a line. I love the chance to hear from you. And let me know you hit that notification so I can give you a shout out as well in my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wow.